my god, are you okay? <laughs> Sorry guys, she's not a good dancer. <laughs> Hello guys, this is Mark Sent for Brazil and Subtitled. Your channel to get to know all you ever wanted to know about Brazil, but in English. Everyone who comes to Brazil feels that there's something different about this place. And sometimes they can even explain what it is. It's energy, it's people and happiness, it's dancing and optimism compose a never seen atmosphere that makes tourists want to come visit again. We have prepared a great video for you guys to have fun during this hard period. Me in studio number one, Brad Zuka in studio number two. Are you there, Brad? Hello, Mark. Of course Hello. I am. Hello. You're a lousy dancer, I gotta say. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Brett. It means a lot. So, what do we have for today? You know, Mark, everybody knows Mickey and Minnie Mouse, Donald and Daisy Duck, Goofy, Pluto, among others, right? But do you guys know Zacharioca or Jose, as he's called, in the United States? That's right. Do you know there is a Brazilian sleek and debonair parrot from Rio de Janeiro among Mickey's gang? Why, Jose, you're such a gourmet. <laughs> huh? Senorina Mini, I will make for you the most romantic Brazilian feast. It will be sumptuous. Oh. Savory. Oh. Muito delicioso. Mm. What? You are indeed lucky to have found me for your fancy dinner. Well, this video is dedicated to telling the story of this character and how Walt Disney created it while visiting Rio a little bit before World War II. His creation is controversial and we're going to tell you everything here. He saw a parrot and he had the inspiration for the creation of the character. I just thank God he didn't see a skunk. <laughs> awesome bread, Zacarioca, amazing, fantastic. Want to learn, learn more? more? Come, Come travel, travel through, through the Brazilian, Brazilian universe, universe with us. With us. After, the, After opening. the opening. Don't go anywhere. And Mark, go learn how to dance. <laughs> mm. It would be muito maravilhoso, meus amigos. The Carioca was Walt Disney's big triumph to get Brazil's heart in the 40s. There are several stories about who might have served as a motto to Zé Carioca's characteristics and style, but one story that appears the most is that he was actually based on a certain man from Sao Paulo, a paulista, not a Carioca from Rio, whose name was José do Patrocínio de Oliveira, and he was a musician who played with Carmen Miranda, and he played Cavaquinho and the guitar. Walt Disney liked him so much, he even invited José do Patrocínio to dub the character in the United States. <laughs> You're Joe Cario. Hello, musketeers. Hi, hi. My real name is José Oliveira. Have you been to Bahia? No. Adios. <laughs> Cavalheiro, aqui está o meu cartão. Não, senhor. José Carioca, Rio de Janeiro, Brasil. José Carioca, Brazilian, parrot, escaped from the mandatory military enlistment Brazil imposes on its citizens and he hates working. He lives in a simple house in one of the many hills there are in the city of Rio. Jose, as he's known in the United States, always has a smart way to get away with his things, and he's always in a good mood, dealing with his problems with elegance, joy, and optimism. In opposition to Donald Duck and his hothead behavior. Many Brazilians might have sweet childhood memories about Zé Carioca because of the comic books published by Editora Abril, or Abril Press. 
But if you had no idea of this character's existence, know that his story is as important as any other Walt Disney's characters or any other Brazil's image abroad. It was 1941 and the world was going through the heat of the World War II. Hitler had virtually taken over the Holy Roop, preparing his efforts to go against the Soviet Union in order to increase his so-called vital space. In Asia, the Japanese prepared the final adjustment to attack the United States through Pearl Harbor after they had already conquered strategic positions in the Pacific and some neighboring countries. There was no human being on the planet who was unaware of the dangers of the conflict. Leaving the tensions of the war, the United States knew that they needed to increase their allies in order to face the enemy. But the situation under the line of the equator was still uncertain, for Brazil was ruled by the populist dictatorship of Getulio Vargas, and Argentina was ruled by Juan Domingo Perón. Governments that seem to be more and more sympathetic to the ideas of the Axis, not for the carnificine, but for the illusion of business opportunities. Fearing for the Axis proximity to South America and having in mind that the continent's relationship with Washington had been deteriorating and stumbling since Theodore Roosevelt's big stick policy, President Franklin Roosevelt launched a series of cultural and social initiatives to approach and insert the American way of life in the countries of South America, especially Brazil. Hollywood played an as important role in this context as the economic policy between the South American countries and the United States. Through Hollywood, South America's colorful and vibrating image started to take shape. That's when Walt Disney's role becomes essential. In 1941, he was still enjoying the success of Snow White and innovating in the movies he produced when he came to Brazil as a member of a delegation that was sent to spread the United States' good neighbor policy in the arts field. Brazil was one of the three destinations the delegation would visit. The others were Argentina and Peru. Walt Disney couldn't hide his enthusiasm about Brazil and how much he had enjoyed visiting the country. He even promised to create something to represent the country in the studios he worked at. The basis for the character came from a model created by a karaoke man called J. Carlos, an artist whose drawings had impressed Walt Disney so much that he invited J. Carlos to work in the studios in Hollywood. J. Carlos refused the invitation just to keep living in Brazil, but he gave Disney Zacarioca's sketch. Walt Disney brought Zacarioca into life a joyful character dressed up in a suit in its early version, bow tie and carrying an umbrella around so that he could protect himself from the summer showers. His first appearance happened in the following year, in 1942, in the classical comic strips called Silly Symphonies. That's right, Mark. Zacharyoka's first appearance on the silver screen was in the film Saludos Amigos of 1943. The film features Zacarioca being dubbed by José de Oliveira, the model for the creation of the character, as we have mentioned previously, if you are paying attention on the story, of course. Zacarioca also had his own comic books in Brazil that picture our parrot in adventures between soccer games, samba parties, and dating the love of his life, 
Rosinha. Zé is not fond of working and leads a life without any concerns, something that irritates Rosinha's dad and makes him despise the idea of Zé Carioca dating his daughter. This stereotype is actually one of the controversies behind the creation of the parrot because it pictures Brazilians, especially Brazilians from Rio, as malandros, which means ladies' men in Portuguese, who are always focusing in living the moment and not worrying about anything. This classical vision about Brazilians ended up being a model for the parrot's behavior. Jose, it's so special of you to prepare this fancy dinner. My pleasure, Signorina Mini. I'll see you tonight. Leaving the controversies behind, Zé Carioca still has a reserved and special place among the most iconic characters that represent Brazil in the world. Even though it was created with a political objective of improving the relations between the United States and Brazil, Walt Disney's parrot is as Brazilian as he can be, living the good life and trying to be happy among his friends in the past 79 years. If Disney really wanted to pay tribute to Brazil somehow, he couldn't have done a better job. For Zacarioca is still in the memories and hearts of a lot of Disney comic book readers. Not to mention it was announced last year that Zacarioca will have comic books entirely produced in Brazil real soon, which is a great and triumphant comeback. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have enjoyed this part of the Brazilian culture. Don't forget to give us the thumbs up, to subscribe to the channel, to click on the bell button and uh, be aware of new videos coming every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Brazil's time. Brad in Studio 2, thank you very much for your participation and see you guys soon. Do you want to say anything, Brad? Yes, Mark. I just want to say that I've enjoyed every single minute of this video and uh, it was a pleasure talking about such a, an iconic character like Zekarioka. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Thank you guys. See you next time.